Well, this, like all this process, you know, the, the, all these types of movies where, where it is an act of faith or maybe an act of love in a way, you have to fall in love with, with the people that you're doing the film with. I fell in love with Joanne. I say it openly. It is a very personal point of view. Uh, it is definitely, I mean, if we have to define it uh, with obvious concepts, but it is an author's movie. Uh, it is Joanne's point of view that comes across in everything in the, during the film. It is, a, it is an exciting thing, and, and, uh, and Joanne was the one responsible to put those things into play, you know, and to just let it go, let it flow. It's an adaptation very libre of a Cuban book. Uh, so it's a very free adaptation of a Cuban novel called The Boarding Home by Guillermo Rosales. And uh, when I read this book, I immediately fell in love with the tone of this book, the black humor, the dream-like uh, scape. And I wanted to recontextualize it in France. And I, w I asked myself, what is um, the equivalent in France of the Latino community in Cuba? Quel serait l'équivalent de la communauté latino en France et quel serait l'équivalent As I was saying in that book he talks about boarding homes and I wonder what would be the equivalent of boarding homes in France so this book was bent, uh, was based in Miami and through my research I found that the gypsy community in France was a good equivalent and I want to recontextualize it so instead of Miami I chose Marseille and both of these cities are very similar in terms of architecture geography um, they both give to the sea and um, so there's lots of contrast there and that's what I did. Très cosmopolite, plein, plein de contraste. I enjoyed the research that they had done before and, uh, and we got a glimpse of it and a taste of it and did investigation around it but before the movie, before the idea of the movie, I, I had only heard about it. I had no idea specifically of how it was and, uh, and it was interesting to, to discover the you know, the, that whole universe, the, the language that is spoken, the, um, the syncretism that exists between uh, these gypsies from, from, uh, from, that come from Spain, but are also passed through Algeria, uh, and now in France with a French also uh, a very strong influence. And that was really interesting to, to experience and to see and to absorb. And it's so overwhelming as well. There's so much information there that uh, it gave, us, uh, gave me and Nawel, which we play the gypsies in the, in the film, uh, a lot of material to work with. Uh, we are both non-gypsies, but at the same time, I mean, I know there's so many things in common that they have with the places we're from. So in a way, it was like, it came in very natural. It came in with a lot of, I don't know, spontaneity and, and kind of a, like a proximity. The gypsies in, in Marseille ended up there because of, uh, it was a diaspora of, of uh, exiles, you know, that escaped from Franco uh, in Spain, escaped from, from that repression and ended up in Marseille. So there is a lot, of, there is a, a very recent history, a recent past of, of uh, fleeing in a way. En période de crise économique, on attend non. Yeah, so in terms, uh, in times of economic crisis, usually we try to lay the blame and there's a, usually it goes to the stigmatized and marginalized, the castaways. And I try to uh, build a bridge in that way because they are usually the scapegoats. Parfois les Latinos aux états unis je peux ajouter une petite chose. I mean, Latinos in the United States, well, I mean, they are. They made the United States. I mean, the south, the south of Mexico City. The, sorry, the, the south of the United States and the north of Mexico have always been, you know, like intertwined in a way, culturally and uh, politically and economically. So, uh, it is a different kind of thing. The meta narrative of France versus the United States. I mean, the concepts of a country is very, very, very different. But I've got to say that there is, there is obviously a, a political, social kind of approach where I. That, that's so weird, that always grabs me uh, because we are all intrinsically complex political beings, you know? In the United States, we don't see as many stories told by women. And so I wanted to ask you, Joan, in France, is that the case? Do you feel like there are as many challenges in France as there are in the U.S. to get your movies made? Uh, it's very hard to answer this question because as a woman director, I don't actually differentiate um, from a work perspective the, the work of a man and a woman director. What's really interesting is that in France there is, 
I can mention like straight up like 10 directors I like, women directors. Like there's many that I, I mean that are there, no, working and doing many things. I mean historically. Finally, Agnes Varda is getting some recognition, <laughs> you know, worldwide. I mean, that's fantastic. 